Hey guys, we're gonna put the <laughs> what they call the tremolo claw in, um, actually vibrato claw. And so you're gonna be looking for these three springs. And you're gonna be looking for that piece, two screws, and the claw. Okay, and one of my brilliant colleagues, uh, Tim Wellhelm, recommends soldering this on um, before you try to put it in the guitar. And like you'd actually do that on your bench or table. You'd have to splice in some kind of jumper wire to do that, but it's smart for a couple reasons, because A, if you're struggling, this, this is a pretty big chunk of metal to heat up if you have a low wattage soldering iron. And you also risk, if you're in there with your, and you're struggling away, you risk damaging the finish of your guitar, um, or actually, you know, burning the wood. Uh, because these screws would also act, you know, somewhat as, as a heat sink. So what Tim is suggesting, it's a good idea if you're struggling. Um, I, I, I guess my soldering irons are hot enough that I haven't, well, I used to. It used to be more of a struggle, but um, if you get a good hot soldering iron with a clean tip, make sure that tip is tinned. Put a little flux on there, and uh, you know I I usually don't have any. Well, I don't have a lot of trouble these days getting that to take. But if you're struggling with getting that um, bridge ground attached to the claw, that is a great suggestion. So as always. A little bit of wax, a little bit of soap, a little bit of chapstick, something to lubricate those threads, a little dab will do. And as always, I recommend increasing the speed of this video to at least 1.25. Some parts, I'm sure you could get away with 1.5. So. Uh, the key thing here, later on this is going to have to be adjusted for tension, so I wouldn't even, I would stop before the threads are all the way in. Um, I would leave that many threads to start with, and uh, I'll show you in a future video, because this is going to be a balancing act between string tension and the spring tension of, on the claw here. And that's going to be kind of a balancing act. So it'll also make it a lot easier to install the springs, which we're about to do, if you don't get that too tight. So I don't know, maybe, you know, the threaded portion, maybe to start with, even halfway would be plenty because you are going to have to adjust and balance that later on. Um, and that's it. So here's your ground wire. So you, if you don't solder it on ahead of time, you just want to tuck that out of the way, but make sure you don't um, pinch it. And boy, I, I would just put all three springs on and I would just have them go straight. Um, there are folks, Stevie Ray famously, but he played like a really heavy gauge of strings, like super heavy. The man had monster hands and his fingers were incredibly strong. And so he he put all five springs on the claw, but I mean, for most people, three is plenty. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Of course, like anything, multiple ways to do it, but this way seems to work for my students. So remember you can, remember how we installed the bridge so it's loose, so you can pull that up and then just push that right down the hole. I think that's the easiest way. I've seen other methods and you know, whatever. Now, as far as putting the springs in, I've seen this a lot, putting them in at an angle and I, I don't understand that. That doesn't make any sense to me either. So I'll just hook it on there and just go straight back. Um, so the, the large holes are for the strings to go through, which we'll do later. The smaller holes are for the springs. And most 
most strats these days just come with three. You can add four if you're if you put on a much heavier gauge of strings, and you can even put five on there if you're using super heavy strings. So that's all there is to it. Now, the next step, you know, at some point is going to be soldering that ground onto that spot right there. And as I said, I would make sure your tip is clean and tinned. And I would even put a little bit of flux right on that location before I tried to solder that. And then um, we'll have to adjust the spring tension later on. But that's all there is to it, guys. Pretty simple. See you on the next one. Bye.